Hey everybody, welcome to Bethesda, and I recently just crashed my drone. And I'm gonna be showing you how to replace some of the parts on this drone so that you don't have to spend more on a different drone. And one of my favorite things about this drone is that instead of buying a completely new drone, it is tough enough so that I can just replace some of the propellers and the stabilizer. So the first thing that we have to do is assess the situation and take a look at what's broken. So it looks like three propellers are broken and one of them is pretty badly damaged so I'm just gonna go ahead and replace all four of them. Also the stabilizer part that connects the GoPro to the drone is also completely broken so we're gonna be replacing that as well. Luckily parts aren't that expensive anymore for the drone because of all the recalls. So I was able to look on the Facebook marketplace and found a GoPro Karma for sale for about 85 bucks. So we're gonna go ahead and replace the propellers first. Now if you look closely onto the top of the propeller it shows a specific color and a specific specific arrow. So the propellers with the silver cap has a directional arrow going clockwise versus the black caps going counterclockwise. The significance of the arrows is that it's telling us which direction to spin to tighten the propellers. So obviously we're going to spin it the exact opposite so that we can remove them. These might be a little tough to remove the first time, so I've learned to use the vice grip to hold it down while I spin the propeller. So it's actually really important to get the specific propeller on the right arm because of its directional rotation. So now that we got all that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and change the stabilizer. So this is a common problem when the drone breaks is that the stabilizer breaks away from the attachment piece that goes into the drone. So what I find useful is a needle nose vice grip or you can use any pliers to try to squeeze through in there and grab onto the end of the stabilizer and just yank it out. Make sure the switch is unlocked. And that's pretty much the fix there. You just slap the other one back in there and you're good to go. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more future videos. And thanks for watching.